Something y'all don't know about me is how much I chronically over film for vlogs. Like I just, I just do too much. I just film too much. I love my job. I'm sorry, what can I say? <laughs> for my move from hell, moving from Texas to here, was like an awful experience. I hired the worst company. So many things were broken and they also left some things, including my olive tree. So I finally replaced it, but with a cheaper one. So I'm curious to see the quality. The last one I got was kind of a splurge because I was like, I'll have this forever. Joke's on me, LOL. You want to know the real tea. <sighs> Apparently the government allows the claims companies a hundred and 20 days to process your claim when a moving company like wrecks a ton of your stuff. So it's been almost 120 days. I don't know how many, but they took their sweet time and I finally got my claim processed and they said they would cover $211 of stuff and they broke like thousands of dollars of stuff. And they had said on the phone that they were just going to cover the cost of the tree that they left since they left it. Um, and like under the claim, they said they're gonna give me $11 for the tree. And so I disputed it again, being like, hey, they told me since they left this, they would at least cover the cost of the tree. So we'll see what happens. But if I ever move cross country again, I'm hiring movers to load up a U-Haul. I'm driving the U-Haul. And then when I get there, I'm hiring local movers to unload the U-Haul. I'm never gonna, cause it's so expensive. I had a good experience with roadway, but it is quite pricey. So I think if you're doing a big move, that's the way to go, to DIY it. Anyways, let's see the streets. Oh, it's in pieces. Oh, I can already tell this does not look as good as I should have spent a little bit extra money. Okay, there's the trunk. <laughs> it comes like a Christmas tree comes. <laughs> it's crazy, we finish each other's sandwiches. I'm so confused. How does this work? Oh, I see, I see, I see goes on this side. Jinx, jinx again. Okay, with some fluffing, maybe she'll be okay. Sorry, it's kind of a mess in here. Okay, what do we think? Actually, if you hate it, maybe don't tell me because I don't think I can return it. Nice to have like something in that corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me convincing myself. Yeah. Jordy thinks I should make a theme song for one day vlogs to the tune of One Day More from Les Mis. Wait, let me think of let me think of the lyrics that I thought. I'm just like I can't remember the words. I wrote a whole chorus One Day Vlog to Les Mis in my mind and I didn't write it down. But One Day Vlog. I'm getting ready to go to the spray tan appointment wearing all black, but I'm realizing I'm going to take this as an opportunity to do a hair mask and just leave my hair in a bun while I'm all sticky from spray tan anyway. Ooh, this is a new hair mask I haven't tried. Should I try a new one? That'd be kind. Ooh, it smells great. Maybe I tried this one. Okay, we're just going for it. Probably better on damp hair, to be honest. <laughs> Oh well. I figured it out. A hair mask is the trick to a slick bun. Cause it makes it so goopy, it just stays in place. I think that's the trick. Don't use hair products, just use a hair mask. Huh. But I have a very silly question to ask you all cause I can't quite decide what I want. I need to figure out if I wanna wear my wedding band with my engagement ring or another way. So. I love wearing my aura ring and I kind of thought maybe I'll just go without it during the day and use it to sleep. But I tried that for a little bit and I missed it. This ring only really fits on this finger and kind of on this pointer, but it's a little tight. But what I was initially thinking about doing with the wedding band that I got was stacking it with this other ring that I never get to wear because it also only fits on this ring finger and stacking them and then having my engagement ring stand alone. And then I could wear my aura ring on this finger, but it always looks funny to me on a pointer finger. So this is option A, if I wear all of my rings at once. 
or option B like this. I just think this guy looks so good alone. Together they're growing on me for sure. I could also just only sleep in my Oura Ring and this is the classiest of all of the options I think, which are just these. So these two together, this one by itself and nothing else. Oh, I'm really just procrastinating doing the work I need to do. I'm gonna make a little snack. Small side note, I had so many friends text me about this when I was gone. Trader Joe's came out with gluten-free, dairy-free, glazed chocolate donut holes. I will say, I'm a sucker for just vanilla plain, plain glazed donuts. I normally don't choose the chocolate one, but I did open it and have a couple yesterday, and they are so good. Like, the glaze on the outside, I think is what gets it, because it tastes what I remember from childhood of going to a normal donut shop like just your neighborhood donut shop glaze. And that's really hard to find on gluten-free. There's the texture on the inside. Oh, they're so good. You wanna taste test a new lunch with me? Herb squash and asparagus risotto harvest bowl. I love squash. I really love squash. Just gonna microwave this. I think it's so funny. Is anybody else's dog like this? Max, if I, if I make him go potty when it's raining, will literally look at me like I have just committed the biggest sin against him. He refuses to potty. Um, I got him to potty once so far today, but it's already like, it's already 1 p.m. I have no concept of time when it's raining. Three minutes. We'll taste it together. Needs something. This is my solution for everything hot chili oil on everything. Mm hmm baby. Bar. Bar. That looks better. It's a little more interesting. Pretty freaking good. This crunchy chili onion hummus from Trader Joe's is so good. I've been loving to just dip snap peas in it as a snack. I ate all the crisp out of this. Oh, that was just regular hummus remaining. That's on me. I used this leftover umami miso shortcut sauce on the salmon and I'm just baking that off. And then I was like, fun, kind of Asian flair. So I did a furikake soy sauce 
um, potato. All we have in the fridge is really right now salmon, potatoes, and arugula. So I'm just trying to spice it up a little, you know? What do you think, Max? What do you think? And then just did a little easy arugula salad with salt, pepper, graza, and some pink lemons from our tree. And a couple more minutes on the salmon, so I'm just gonna tidy all this up, and then we'll have dinner and therapy. I also did something kind of wacky last night. I had this idea out of nowhere, and I was like, I have to try this right now. So I had bought this. It's liquid smoke. It's hickory liquid smoke, and it literally just smells like a campfire. And then I was thinking about the fact it smells like a campfire, and I was thinking about how we have so many leftover s'more supplies from our wedding. So I created this crazy recipe. Here's how it turned out. It's like this giant like s'mores bark. I actually have footage from making it. So what I did is I took gluten-free graham crackers, just all s'more supplies. I chopped them up really small. I melted butter and marshmallows together, and I added in vanilla and some of this liquid smoke to give like a campfire s'mores Rice Krispie Treat vibe. I mixed it all together, spread it into this pan, melted dark chocolate, drizzled the dark chocolate on top, and then topped it in sea salt. And like, I'll show you how the texture ended up. It's pretty sticky to the bottom. I needed to like probably grease the wax paper more, but it's a little sticky on the bottom. But these are how they turned out. And they're actually pretty good. They're a little interesting. Hi, it's literally hours later, but I am feeling so good. I've started, I started caring about curating focus vibes when I actually want to focus. This is new as of a couple days ago. And it's, are you okay? You're just making weird noises, huh? He's fine. <laughs> I just started this a couple days ago, but it's really helped me actually like want to be here focusing. This is what I've been doing. I've been putting in earphones, which I know isn't good. Um, but it really helps me focus in. Then I have the window open and a heater going under my desk. So my feet are nice and warm, but I get like this cold breeze in my face, which is awesome. I have a candle going, lighting is just right. And now my office is organized, which I'm really thankful for. I'm like, why do I focus better in coffee shops? And try to take some of those things here, which is mostly just earphones, really. <laughs> I got a Christmas candle going, but it's the best because it smells like pine. I'm sitting in here recording some voiceover because I think it's the quietest room in the house right now. There's like noise happening in the front of the house. So this is the furthest back of the house and trying to get all of my voiceovers recorded. I'll turn on some lights in here. Wrapping up some work things, filming all the voiceover for my six course attempt meal video, which is fully for me. This video is very niche and it was just something I really wanted to do. So I'm having a great time recording all this right now. And then I'll shower and get ready for the day. Kind of treating today like a half work day, half not. Tomorrow, Sunday, it's gonna be fully off. Okay, one course to go. Let's go. But thanks for watching this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. Okay. Time to shower. Ooh. Look at how cute it is in here, guys. And I got one of their crew necks. Coffee, coffee. It's hanging over there. I don't want to get the girl in it too much, but I'll show you in a second. Those are the crew necks, aren't they? So cute. The coffee, coffee. Yep. Yep. And I got a ceremonial matcha on the way. Oh, I want to show you something sweet. My cousin um, just traveled, like studied abroad for college and she brought me home a couple things. This was from, oh shoot, now I'm forgetting. It's a little incense holder as like a lighthouse. And so you light the incense and you put it in here and then the smoke comes out of the little holes at the top of the lighthouse. And then she got me this painted oyster shell from Holland. Isn't that so, actually, I don't know if that was Holland. I think I'm just assuming Holland. She told me all the countries these are from and I'm, I'm sorry, Gracie. Wait, fun little package just arrived. I didn't even tell y'all this. I feel like I manifested this because I've been saying for forever that I wish Oceanside would get a reformer Pilates studio. There is nothing, nothing in Oceanside, Carlsbad, anywhere. And we finally got one. And I went to two classes this week and I have been so sore from them because I haven't done really heavy like weighted stuff since before my surgery. So it's been over half a year. Anyways, um, and then later that day, I was like, I need to find some cute 
Pilates socks because I have one pair. And then a friend, a mutual friend on Instagram, um, Chandler Isaac, I don't know if you'll follow her, posted that same day these socks on Amazon and they're a pack of four, all really cute colors and they're like tube socks, which is cute because my other Pilates socks are just, just the foot, not the ankle. I'm about to enter my Pilates princess era and I am great with that. I've decided that that is the best workout I can do for my joints because they have become so weak, all my muscles around my joints that like every single little thing I do, I feel them slip. So Jordy has really encouraged me to go ahead and allocate some of our monthly budget to myself to get to do something that will protect my joints because that is going to be cheaper than a hospital bill if I dislocate again. So excited for that. They're so cute. I'll link these. They're just Amazon. They're pretty affordable.